Okay, hi, I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and so many of you have been asking questions about how to do the, uh, the homework with exponential functions that I decided to make some videos, so let's get to it. I'm going to share my screen. Good, so here we will go. Okay, now. See, teachers get to cheat. All right, here we are. Now, I also have some scratch paper up here. Let me get my writing tablet out. Okay, an exponential function. Well, first, let's talk about a function with an exponent. Like, ah, uh, right, well, I do have to write with something, don't I? There we go. Like f of x, whoops, that's ugly. f of x equals x to the third power. This is a function with an exponent. Now, this is an exponential function. Notice that the X and the three have traded places. Now the bottom, the base is a number and the X is an exponent. Okay, so what we have here in the first problem and let's see, let me move it a little bit. So that I can see what the number is. The number is 9.3.27. That means it's section 9.3, number 27. Okay, here we're looking at f of x. I need to move this to my lap. I can't write like that. Okay, equals. 2 to the x minus 3. And you can put parentheses around that if you feel more comfortable. All right, what this is taken from is the basic function I'll write it out here. We could say y equals or f of x or g of x or whatever equals 2 to the x. But this, where the x is, is the argument. And we have a minus 3 in there with the x. So what this is, is a horizontal shift. All right, just like other horizontal shifts you've learned about. This is going to be three to the right. Remember the sign is opposite. And the reason is this. If you take this X minus three and set it equal to zero and solve for X, you'll get X equals three, positive three. I'll even put the plus sign there. That means you're going three to the right. Now that's all you need to know to graph this. So let's look over here, over here, follow the cursor. Start with the graph of y equals the basic function 
2 to the x, and then shift the graph three units down. No, I want to go three to the right. Three units up. No. Three units to the right. Here it is. So I'm going to type two. And then I'm going to check my answer. And it's right. Now we're going to graph. And graphing like this is a little bit different, as you'll see. Now this is the symbol. If you hover your, your mouse over these icons, this is the symbol for exponential function. I click here and then I click anywhere on the screen, doesn't matter. And what you get is the basic exponential function two to the X. Now, all I have to do is fill in the transformations and the graph will move automatically. So let's see, I am going three to the right. That's a horizontal shift of three to the right. So here's where I have a horizontal shift. I'm going to go positive three to the right, and that automatically means to the right. If there were a negative sign in front of the two, I'd have a vertical reflection. Notice they're next. If I had a negative sign in front of the X, I'd have um, um, a, a reflection across the Y axis or a horizontal reflection. But I don't, I don't have either. The only transformation going on here is three units to the right, a horizontal shift of three units to the right. Now, while we're here, let's look at the default positions. There is no vertical stretch or shrink, so the, um, um, the marker is automatically on one. That's the default position when there is no vertical stretch or shrink. There is no horizontal stretch or shrink. So the, the, uh, the marker here, the slider, is on one. There is no vertical shift. Um, so uh, this default position is zero, but there is a horizontal shift. So we had to move from the default position zero to three because the horizontal shift is a positive three or three to the right. Now we're almost done except we have an E base and that's not right. Our base is two. So I'm going to delete the E and type a two. That's my base right there. So let us save and check answer. And we did a good job. Bravo. Let's move on. Now we have f of x equals 3 to the x plus 4. Now we're going to describe how the graph can be obtained from the graph of a basic exponential function. Notice you don't have any questions to fill out here. So you're going to have to come over to your scratch paper and write it all out. Now this is number, what is this? Wait a minute. 9.3.29. And I think this one was 9.3.27. Okay, now we're going to have f of x equals 3 to the x plus 4. Now here's your basic exponential function right here. The base is 3, the exponent is x. This plus 4 at, <laughs> excuse me, 
the plus four at the end is a vertical shift up four units. So let's go here. Let's click to enlarge the graph. Let's go to the exponential function tool. Click anywhere on the grid. And now what do I have to find? I have to find a vertical shift of four. That is the only transformation. So here's vertical shift and I'm going to go to the right. One, two, three, four. In other words, I'm going to go to positive four. I don't move anything else. I do get rid of the E and I put in the base, which is three. I saw I type three. And now I save. And I check answer. Good job. Now they're asking us, OK, the graph of f of x equals 3 to the x plus 4 is the basic exponential function. 3 to the x. Shifted up. Four units. Let's check our answer. Yes. So you're getting the idea. OK. Um, let's go do another one. This is so much fun. Aha, look at that. They're trying to fool us. Don't be fooled. All right, so this is 9.3.31. And we have f of x. Equals. 2 to the 1 minus x plus 2. Now we are not going to be able to read this correctly until we take 1 minus x and turn it around the way it's supposed to be. Negative x plus 1 because that's a positive 1. So I wrote an f, a positive a plus. Okay, now we can look at this. It's in the argument of the function where the x is. So that means two things. The negative in front of the x is a reflection, a reflection across the x uh, across the y axis okay now the plus 1 at the end remember this is in the argument of the function negative x plus one, this is going to be a horizontal shift to the left. One. So an eight shift, a horizontal shift. Left. One. Okay. So. And if you doubt it, let's take our negative x plus 1, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. Well, that's negative 1 times x plus 1. To solve for x, I subtract 1 from both sides. That leaves me with negative 1x equals negative 1. So, yeah, it's going to look like I have a horizontal shift of positive 1. Well, we're going to check out and see. 
what it really is. Here we go. I'm going to come over here to enlarge the graph. Here's the exponential functions icon. I click here. Then I know right away I have a reflection across the Y axis. And I'm going to be moving now the way I was taught. Um, I'm going to ignore the plus one and I'm going to see if it lets me do a negative one and calls it correct. So we'll have uh, one to the left. A horizontal shift. Then we have a plus two which is definitely a vertical shift, no doubt about that. So I'm going to move the uh, slider over here. And then, look at that, we've already got base two, so I'm going to save, I'm going to hold my breath, and click, aha! All right, then. Um, let's delete that. Oh, okay, let's do this then. We know we have a vertical shift up, but now I'm going to make sure, make absolutely sure, I'm going to uh, make a horizontal shift one to the right because I believe that that might have been the problem and I should have trusted myself. Woohoo! From now on, make a point. Make a point of this, make a note, Trust yourself. Okay, from now on, I'll do it the right way. All right, describe how the graph can be obtained from the graph of the basic exponential function. Choose the correct answer below. Shift the graph of y equals 2 to the x. One uh, left one unit? No. left one unit reflected across the Y and shift up to. They all say left one unit. All right. This is wrong and I'm going to have to tell the publisher about it, which is something I can do because I'm the teacher. Yeah, see, ask the publisher. I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to tell him. OK, because remember, we had to put a horizontal shift. To the right. So this is wrong, although it's the way it's customarily taught. So let us beware from now on. And go to the right. I need to make a note to not use do not use, do not use 9.3.31. Okay, now let's move on. This is 9.3.33. All right, we have f of x equals 3 minus 3 to the negative x. We must turn this around the right way. So, this is going to be negative 3 to the negative x, and this is positive, so plus Three. Okay. Now, this negative in front of the exponential function means it's going to be shifted across the x-axis. It's going to be shifted upside down. <clears throat> upside down. So, this graph is going to be shift up, shifted. No, 
it's going to be reflected, let's just say REF, across the X axis. Now the negative in front of the X means we're also going to reflect across the Y axis. And that comes from, let's put an arrow here, this negative in front of the X. Now this plus three is a vertical shift, a positive vertical shift, <clears throat> three up. So we'll call that a vert shift. Pull that up like that. Now here we go. Now we have to answer these questions first. We're going to reflect the graph y equals 3 to the x. That's the basic graph. across the x-axis and then shift it down three. No, we're going to reflect across, well, we're going to reflect this across the y-axis and then shift down. No, we're going to reflect y equals three to the x across the y-axis, yes, then across the x-axis, yes, and then shift it up three units, you betcha. Check answer, yes. Okay, it's much easier when you have, have this to refer to over here. Okay, now I'm going to enlarge the graph. I'm going to click on the exponential function icon. I am going to uh, click anywhere. Now, I have a reflection across the x-axis, a reflection across the y-axis, and a vertical shift up three, and a base, a base of three. Let's save. Check. Nice work. OK, this is about long enough. I will come back to this, but um, I think 25 minutes is long enough, don't you? Ooh, maybe too long. So I am going to stop sharing my screen. There I am. Oh, I've got a halo, a brown halo, worrisome. Um, and then I am going to stop recording and I'm going to turn this into a video, put it on YouTube, give you the link, and then I'll be back to make the next video.